Bears. Like all of that good stuff can blend together into a it's a Wario that's been on the PR for and been in threatening the PR multiple times now. Yeah. We're actually gonna end up getting Snake versus Wario. It makes a lot of sense on the end of Sensei in my mind. It seems like it could be a little hard for Aegis to get things done in this matchup, just because if you're not able to consistently win those interactions versus Wario, it's an incredibly easy time punishing Aegis for the negative parts of their game plan, which essentially really just come down to recovery. Right. And this uh, this makes more sense in terms of, uh, as I was mentioning earlier, set history can be a very important, and BD Bean, has oftentimes uh, struggled with these hard zoning type characters, uh, or hard, like just trapping and characters that control a lot of space. Yeah. Since as Wario, you like to move around a lot, but you can't be moving around with hitboxes against Snake because then everything falls apart. Exactly, yeah, things can get really dicey, or at least you need to know how to position everything around right. grenades. We see BD Bean doing a really good job of just positioning quite interestingly, just dipping in and dipping out, recognizing where certain interactions can't go well because of the nature of Snake F tilt and Snake up tilt, and just backing up almost a full stage away. Oh, saw the jump, and that's when BB chose to jump off of ledge and challenge. Uh, despite Snake having a really solid back air, just wasn't clean enough to pull the trigger. There is that back air, though. All right, just a hard challenge with the bike. I'm not going to ledge. We're resetting neutral now. <laughs> <laughs> Holding center stage for it, though, does get dash attack back, but these two are just having a really scrappy performance thus far. Ever so close to that 160% death. Oh, the back throw is going to seal it for BDB, and that was looking a little unfortunate for Sensei, but actually did find the kill regardless. Ooh! <laughs> he was at zero. Why not save that read for later? Either way, might have been uh, definitely a faint ledge trump there. I know that Sensei's been trying to work ledge jumping into his game plan more and more, and it opens up this runoff double jump faint that is, even with Snake's kind of mediocre double jump, it's such a powerful tool. Yep. Forcing the air dodge, gets the up smash Ooh. out, and BD Bean's able to not only block that, but use the pivot cancel forward tilt to catch uh, Sensei before he lands. Yeah, absolutely. Waff the side. Sensei was able to net a very calm 100% of extra credit there, really getting things going. So much pressure, but Sensei finds the landing and retreats to the corner, but it actually works out. Dash that got in just after the up tilt, looking for a sh looking for a grab, but he can't, finds the chomp anyway. BD Bean trying to play this ledge. The lazy recovery back to the ledge doesn't net them there, but the C4 was there. Tricky. I like that from Sensei. Just keeping BD Bean on a timer there. If you want to edge guard me, you're gonna have to do it fast because I can catch you. Ends up pulling it through 68% on the end of. Sensei does mean that he's at a percent that's actually pretty easy to waft confirm, so BD Bean's fishing a little bit here. Yeah, I mean, you kind of answered the question, like, do you think BD Bean is going to spend the waft here in order to make try and bring the game back to even as soon as possible? The answer is yes, as he looks for it just without any starter, and Sensei blocks accordingly. This is a terrible spot for BD Bean to lose that X Factor, but you might have enough time to charge up a half waft in the meantime. Something Sensei's been getting away with that I feel like people don't often get away with versus BDB is blocking the corner a lot, but quick oh, turnaround there and only 77%. Oh, the sticky. Good he, call there. Yeah, he <laughs> stuck him on the platform, but most of the time you uh, you get stuck by blocking. Sensei, though, did it early and saw that BDB wanted to land on the platform uh after, as he was recovering and just got the stick right here. Oh, that was dirty. The stick with the grenade in hand, too. That's a situation where you think, oh, he's probably just going to Z-drop that grenade on top of me, try to apply a little bit of pressure on this platform, maybe right. up-tilt up me through the platform, maybe back air me or something. You're not expecting to get stuck there. And then once you get stuck, your mind is on. <laughs> it's like, oh, God. Like The timing gets all out of whack in your head. Is, yeah. I think... That's one of the more. That's one of the bigger strengths of Sensei as a as a player, and especially as a snake, is that he's so different from a lot of snakes because he jumps a lot. He jumps at you. He jumps near you. He'll double jump in neutral. It's surprising to see a, a snake take to the air as much. Look at that double jump aggression oh, yeah. off of ledge, and BD Bean was ready to set up a ledge trap and just didn't get to. Yeah, it can get a little risky when you play a character that actually has to. Again, these contact character matchups when you don't have a sword versus snake. He's allowed to look for that aggressive approach off the ledge sometimes just because it's so hard to catch him. The risk reward really isn't there sometimes. You're eating Nair and like 
18, 20 percent, and then another follow-up, or you're across the stage and he's holding center, or he, you just let him land for free ascension. Oh, Ooh. and got the trade with the uh, the up tilt after four tilt one. That's a that's such a dirty setup to do F tilt one and catch people uh, DIing in on F tilt two with that up tilt instead. Oh yeah, very good stuff. That C4 hitting so deep through the platform. PDB does find that grab though. Oh, choosing to down tilt, but Beadmin gets a back air in the corner here, trying to... Oh, great most. drift from Sensei. Just that slight drift as soon as he cut out of the Nikita. Gets the drag down, but grabs the bike instead. It's uh, a little unfortunate. Lost a lot of advantage there, but is able to get the contact with the Cypher and find his way close enough to survive that back air. All right, back in the corner, Sensei is with 49% of extra credit and almost finds his way back in. Does get the roll called out. BD Bean in a pretty comfortable spot here. He stuck him again. That was like the same situation. And with it flat, Ooh. oh, he did transfer just in time. And uh, Waft is coming online very soon. Wow, the mini C4 catch right there. These two close enough to even, but the DI tried to get the turnaround on the grenade, ended up holding out. That's tough, especially now, like you turned a a solid position into an incredibly losing one as kill percent is looking a lot more like 50 than it is like it was before. Oh, uh -oh. yeah. That boy flashing. Swallowed I think the BDB maybe tried to... There's a hitbox on that. Yeah. Mario swallowing uh, any explosive. There's a hitbox on that. Really? Yeah. That's hilarious. And <laughs> there are a couple spots where I, it seems so hard to replicate, but I've seen clips of people dying to it. That's... You know, the, the more you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wacky one. Right, but 52 Ooh, now, Sensei able to change. Yeah, he's able to turn a lot of these trades super in his favor, Dre. Like the, uh, trying to give, uh, trying to take the bike away from BD being in so many of these spots and destroying it with their grenades, extending the hitboxes. Oh, oh stick. that's sticky. Finding that situation so and often. And the shield breaks. Sensei walking away with the 2-0. Oh, what a filthy finish. The My shield Lord. break. Up smash. Like, oh, this, you love that was so it. good. Counterplay to block is so important as we progress in the uh, ultimate's lifespan. Uh, shielding is still being shown as relatively powerful even if it's not as powerful as it was before exactly but having instant access to block doesn't mean it's an a, a, a all-purpose tool you still gotta watch that shield help and c4 does a lot of it yeah that was absolutely crazy stuff that and also i mean the more we play these smash games in general platform fighters in general right. moves that don't work at certain times you can sit there and you can cry about it and you can be angry about <laughs> it which i mean you're not completely in the wrong. It's a little annoying when your yeah. moves don't work. I, I can or that. you can sit there, come to learn all the situations where it doesn't work and what someone's common response is. Sensei hits that Nair, knows the most frequent response is going to be, I think I am getting hit by the last hit of Nair or another aerial. I'm going to press block. And he takes that free sticky there. No hesitation at all and immediately gets the play off of it. Yeah, it's almost like a command grab that's... A command grab in the future. Yeah, it's like <laughs> future sight. It's You're just future really sight. <laughs> yeah, he's taking he's taking his turn back, but it'll be turn three. Uh, so the uh, and the pressure you met you were touching on this before in game two, in uh, game one. The pressure that C4 applies when it's on top of you it forces two responses. I'm going to try and get up close and transfer the sticky, or I'm going to panic air dodge. And yep. Sensei called out both of them. So good. Incredibly good stuff. That was cool. That was so. <laughs> that was a, good, a lot of really good stake play, and that's why I'm really a fan of the fact that New Jersey seems to have at least somewhat reverted back to 2019 format. Yeah. Hydra taking names with Palutena. Snakes everywhere. Uh, wolf players coming out of the woodwork, or people picking up wolf again. Like it's just, it feels very weird coming yeah. back in the 2022 where you see like. Rob's a menace, Kazuya, Steve, and like all the characters, DLC Pack 2 going wild. Yep. And then you come to Jersey, it's like, get ready for the snake matchup. Yep, exactly. <laughs> There's still value to those old picks. They right. weren't just here for no reason. 